Often when we talk mid to high handicap golf, we often refer to the clubs that ping bring out every so often. Guys, should you use a ping hybrid or should you use a new fancy ping eye crossover? That's what we're gonna look at in this video, guys. I'm gonna compare these clubs out here on the golf course. Also, I have been in the simulator room here at Woolley Park Golf Club to test these clubs for numbers and see which one will potentially help you play your best golf ever. And you see guys, there are so many deciding factors when you do think about what clubs put in the bag. Some of them are price, some of them are performance driven, and some of them are just looks driven. So many people I know should use a hybrid just like this one, but can't stand it down at the ball and often catch it heavy, top it, thin it, or just don't get the strike that you would want. Now I have the Ping G4253 hybrid, and that is in at 19 degrees. Luckily enough, I can knock a degree off that play to 18, which is exactly the same as, um, you guessed it, this delightful looking ping eye crossover. This is the two version, it's 18 degrees. The only big difference now we have is obviously a huge difference in head shape and design. And to be honest, I thought the shaft length was gonna be different, but they're exactly the same. This is gonna be a very interesting video, guys. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. I would love to try and get to a quarter of a million subscribers soon i'm not going to put a time on it but right i'm going to grade these clubs first of all out here in the golf course and there's no better way to test a club than that finicky horror tee shot that everybody hates we'll kick things off with the hybrid and you also have to hit a certain distance around 230 is optimum here let's see if we can get that with the hybrid you see that is such an easy shot what a ball flight that is i've caught it just a little bit here you see that fading into the middle of the fairway I think that's actually hit that post we're aiming at in the middle. Yeah, I think we've just hit that post there. Um, and that's what we're aiming for. So, so far, so good with the hybrid. Now, could you see yourself looking down at this on the first tee instead of the hybrid? Do you prefer an iron? You see, that's exactly the same ball flight, a little bit lower. Really interesting to see the distances on these clubs as well. Because if you're thinking of filling a gap in your bag, that's obviously going to be a determining factor as to what you put in the bag. Guys, I've got loads of fun videos to film for you today. So remember, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and throw a like on the video. Helps the channel more than you know. Guys, thank you so much if you have just thrown a like on this video. And come on, Ping fans, get in the comments below. Are you looking forward to seeing the launch of the brand new Ping? I'm not allowed to say it yet because I'm in the northern hemisphere but i can't wait to get my hands on them i have seen them they look absolutely fantastic just like the ping eye crossover i think this is a fantastic looking club it's a gorgeous looking blade length and i think that black finish just is the creme de la creme to what is probably one of ping's nicest looking clubs of the past long time now this is really interesting because as you can see these are neck and neck when it comes to distance, you literally cannot split these out on the golf course for these two shots. It would be impossible. There's like a yard in it, and obviously the ground surface is gonna have something to do with that. So which one's the best? I mean, I did say we wanted to be tight to this side because that's where the green is, and that was the perfect shot off this quite awkward first tee. So I'm gonna give it the hybrid on this occasion, just based on that's where it's finished, and based on that, I think I nearly did hit that. I don't think it did, but um, let's be fair, the crossover, is, uh, it's not a bad second place, is it? This is absolutely perfect to test these clubs into this breeze. Guys, I always think the big word when I'm thinking about what golf club I should put in my bag if I'm deciding between two begins with a V. What do we think it is, guys? Get in the comments below. Three, two, it's versatility. Can I play whatever shot I want to play with this? In this case, we're into the wind. Can I play one a little bit lower? Can I play that bit of a stinger? For me, this is exactly what the crossover is designed for. We're going to try and aim just at that bunker down there. That is the target line. Don't think we can get there today into the wind. Play it nice and low. This one is the strong favourite for this shot, but you never know. That is lovely. That is really nice. It's faded a little bit right. We're going to give it on the fairway. Now, how can the hybrid counter that? I think this is probably one of the best looking ping hybrids they've ever made. I love there's no turbulators on it. I really like those little just three quaint dots there to give you your alignment. And also this is why it's not the favorite for this shot. You'll see we've got a little bit of weight further back there. That is designed to give you a little bit higher MRI, a little bit more forgiveness. Still jam packed full of technology with the face wrap and with the heated treated face, heat treated face should I say, and the fact we've got that adjustability on it. That is a strong tick. You could actually loft this down even more if you wanted to, to like a two hybrid but no it feels like it's going to be easier to get off even though i don't feel very confident trying to play a low one 
<laughs> Look how low that is. I mean, I've severely cut across now. That is going right, and that's Mr. Fairway. The crossover has won that round, but it certainly did what I wanted to do. It stayed low. I just cut across it a little bit too much. So the more forgiving club has missed the fairway that way. One all. And I mean, in fairness, if we're going to give scores to bag presents, um, for me, the two iron certainly looks a little bit nicer in the bag. I know that shouldn't really have an effect on what you choose, but I certainly know that it would do for some people. It looks absolutely, look at that, that's where you can see where the forgiveness element is there, with that tungsten waiting in the toe and that slightly thicker bottom line. Um, yeah, that one does look like, just look at that there. See that, get out of the way, there you are. Sorry. So versatility is all good and well if you want to play a stinger, if you want to play that low shot. What about if you found the rough, like we have done here, and you want something that's easy to launch in the air, something that's easily going to help you get towards that green? It's almost like I planned this. Okay, I didn't plan to miss the fairway, but sometimes life uh, just works out for you. Okay, and let's be fair to that hybrid. The crossover's in the fairway, yes, um, but the hybrid, even with a bad strike, sorry, it is there, level with it again. That's, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, we've missed the fairway. We're on the right-hand side. We need to hit a 220, 200 yard shot. We need to get it up in the air quickly. Which one would you call on? Now, hybrids used to be called rescue clubs because they'd rescue you from situations like this. So the hybrid has now flipped from being the least favorite to being the favorite for this shot. So we'll hit it first. We've got a long way here. This needs to be a good one with similar lies. So that is at it. Big That is just front edge. Similar lie now. Roll it into there with the crossover. And this is where this might worry more golfers than not. So if you're a mid handicapper, a high handicapper, just like the title of this video says, is this going to be your savior? Is this a club you're going to put in? Perhaps not. This is aimed more at the lower handicaps. I, I feel like I have to try and really force it in the air. This is going to come out like a bullet. I feel it. Yeah, I mean, it's a similar shot. It's okay. It's going to run up a little bit. It's probably 10, 15 yards short of where the hybrid has finished. For me, the hybrid there's certainly done its job out of this wet rough on a downhill slope. It's launched it at a nice angle, to be fair. That's gone up there near the green. Guys, let's jump in the simulator room. Let's see what differences I saw with these two clubs playing exactly the same length, exactly the same loft. And then let me know, guys, which one would you put in your bag for 2022 or 23 or whenever so as you can see guys i jumped in the simulator room here at woolly park golf club and i hit loads and loads of shots start off with a hybrid and i've actually been swinging really really well especially with this kind of length club you can see that there's quite a lot of decent ball flights this one was just a little bit of a healy one similar to the one off the first tee really important to test not only good shots but miss hits as well and just see what differences we do see um you can see it just come out a little bit lower with the crossover but just struck this really well as well i actually hit a couple of ones that were almost on the line which when you're testing shots like this that's generally what you want isn't it you want some nice straight ball flights so let's take a look at these numbers you'll see that we've got more ball speed with the crossover even though they are the same shaft length the crossover also launched a little bit lower and spun a little bit lower and the carry distance was five more resulting in six yards more total so if you're thinking of filling a gap in your bag is that five yards important or are you more bothered about forgiveness and overall performance? So guys, they go very, very, very interesting numbers there. And I, for one, personally, even looking at the numbers from the eye crossover, I think I'd air more towards the hybrid depending what courses I was playing. I've always had a tailor-made UDI driving iron in the bag and I like it. I love it properly. I can play those low shots, but sometimes I do get caught out when I need that rescue club, when I need that forgiveness. So if I was a mid-handicap, I'd definitely be looking at the hybrid, but it's also nice to have something like that in the bag. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.